we're on easy street and it feels so sweet because the world is but a treat when you're on easy street welcome to the easy street radio show hosted by rob scribner grab a cup of coffee and let's get started hey thanks for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world this will help us grow also note buying some of our merchandise or donating to our channel is very helpful also thank you for supporting our show hello everyone and welcome to easy street this is episode 25 and uh, today was an interesting day because uh, I did a little shopping and I want to talk about Costco here in a minute. But I want to remind you that you can find Easy Street on Spreaker, uh, also on Good Talk Radio where we're syndicated five times during the week. And uh, if you want to see what the schedule is for that, go to goodtalkradio.com, go to the schedule and check out where Easy Street's playing. Um, also, when you get a chance, go visit Good Talk Radio and find out there's some shows in there you'll love. There's some amazing shows in there. And it's a 24 seven internet radio station and it's a worldwide internet station and we'd love to have you check us out. So uh, don't forget, you can also listen to us on Alexa. So getting to my subject, Costco. So today I did it, I thought, Okay, uh, well, um, I watched a show last night with Marfugo News, and he was up in C uh, Seattle area, which is Washington State, and uh, I'm from that area, so I know exactly where he was at, and he went to Costco Sunday, Saturday, and it was totally insane. I mean, the traffic was insane, getting in and out was insane, people had really full carts, it was insane, and... Uh, uh, he didn't go in, but he was listening, uh, listing a few things that people were saying that they were running out of stuff. So I, I couldn't help myself. I'm in Arizona. Now, the panic doesn't feel as strong down here as up in the Northwest because Washington just had a death from the CV stuff. And uh, uh, so I'm sure that their news is a little bit more hyped and Governor Inslee up there is a little bit on the wild side, so I'm not surprised that there might be a little bit of uh, uh, anxiousness going on up there. So anyway, uh, so I thought, well, I th let's go to our Costco. So it was Sunday afternoon that Sherry and I decided to go to Costco. And I got to tell you, it wasn't over, um, wasn't any different than normal. It was differently busy. <coughs> um, and so uh, I didn't see any uh, traffic issues or anything like that. It was definitely busy. So we uh, went ahead on in because we have a few, we keep adding to our prep things. We're actually, our prep stuff's in good shape. We're good for two or three months, I'd say easily. And uh, paper and stuff like that, we're all uh, up on. And uh, so when we get stuff for our prepping the stuff, it's more like luxury items, like a few oh, candy bars. We made sure we had some more vitamins. Um, just picked up a handful of things that are a little more, oh, just for uh, comfort in case we got stuck at the house. And uh, the one thing that really throws me on this is why everybody's so concerned about water. Um, yeah, water could be an issue down the road a little bit, but immediately uh, if uh, we had to stay home, uh, I do believe our electricity and water would still be intact. So that's kind of comforting. But uh, please, in the comments below, tell me why I should worry about water. I mean, I am stocked up on water, but why would others go nuts on buying water? So this picture you see on the screen is Costco. And where that water is, is normally where all the paper products are. They had zero. They said that they had a big run in the morning. There was a lineup and all their paper towels and toilet paper were sold out. And they were planning on getting more in the next day. But I've never seen this row has never got water. So they just filled the row in with water. And uh, I, that was definitely unusual. Was there a craziness going on at the store? I didn't see that. Did I see really crazy carts full of stuff? Didn't really see that either. So at least here in Arizona, at, at my Costco, it seemed a little bit calmer than what I was seeing from 
the Mesa. I'm from the Seattle area. I'm in Mesa. Anyway, so uh, uh, yeah, I uh, I was surprised that uh, there was such a run on paper products. So uh, that's my report from uh, Costco. I do recommend that you do start stocking up on those items. Those are seem to be hoarding items. So uh, uh, maybe in the morning before you go to work, uh, maybe swing by Costco and go ahead and stock up with at least a couple of one or two cases of toilet paper and extra paper towels. And uh, the other thing I heard that they're kind of low on is a lot of uh, disinfectant kind of things, but uh, it looked okay at our Costco. So yeah, I would definitely be more concerned about those things, getting paper products. Um, if you don't need it by the case, at least uh, buy it by you know, a four pack, six pack, eight pack, whatever from a grocery store and start building it up a little bit. Uh, I don't see a panic here yet, but I definitely seeing a trend of uh, if it's like this now, what's it going to be like in one or two weeks? All it would take is a, a couple more instances here in Arizona, maybe a death like they had up in uh, Washington and uh, uh, maybe our people start waking up. Uh, they're not in shock down here yet. My curiosity also comes up of is, you know, I pay attention to what's going on in Washington. I thought there was only one in Washington. All of a sudden I'm hearing about one in Washington and two others in Washington that may have been exposed to the CV. And then uh, also they're hearing Oregon. Where did that come from? And then today I also heard that there may have been exposure to a uh, um, assisted living area. And that would be devastating. Bad news. So, uh, and then Governor Inslee up there is also uh, went to a state of emergency. Not sure if he, I guess that's good. I don't know if he jumped the gun there or not, but I think California did the same thing. So what's going on in those reporting and why are we not getting the whole story? Maybe Arizona's got folks, a lot of folks that we don't know about and are just not reporting it. What's the deal with that? Um, are they afraid of exactly what's going on in Washington? Don't know. So uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So guys, do a Costco run. Don't hoard, but definitely build up your uh, things. If you're, if you had, if your things were where you had to stay home, what are the things that would cause you to go, darn, I got to get to the grocery store. I'm out of dog food, cat food. Do you have enough extra cat litter? Um, do you have uh, enough food for your dog? Um, can you do some orders online so they can start trickling in during the week instead of relying on going to Costco and stuff like that? I would start asking yourself those questions in the case of if I got stuck staying at home or what they call a self quarantine, would I have the things I need to hang tight and what would keep me from having to leave the house? Uh, that's really going to be important. What will keep me home? What will keep me from, oh darn, we're out of this or we're out of that cooking oil. Do you have enough of uh, little things like that? And, uh, um, milk. Maybe you either go to Winco and uh, get yourself some uh, powdered milk and just keep yourself from having to go to the grocery store uh, because the grocery stores are going to look really nasty and I guarantee you they're going to start raising prices on stuff. It's called supply and demand. So be prepared. Think this stuff through. Start talking to your spouse or partners. Um, make a plan and have this hard conversation. No, it's not fun, but necessary. Stop! Do you own a dog? Are you frustrated with your dog's waste bags? Then try out Ranger Rob poopy bags today. Our bags are whiter, they are deeper, they have handles and are lemon scented. Our five star rated dog bags are strong and leak proof. Visit RangerRobPoopyBags.com. We're available on Amazon and you'll love our product. Well, we're back and guys, don't forget to get some Ranger Rob poopy bags over at um, Amazon. It helps our channel, helps us pay for all this and uh, helps our radio stations and all the other things we do. So uh, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, if not, please go to um, our channel right at uh, in our uh, YouTube channel and uh, maybe
appreciate that. You know, times are tough and anytime we talk about some of these subjects, we do not get monetized. So moving on, healthcare costs. Now I talked about this a little bit in the last show and I want to remind you people that our problem, there's a couple of problems out there. One is testing is not going on the way it should here in the States, which means there's got to be tons of people slipping through the cracks when it comes to the CV stuff. And uh, um, another thing that's going to be a big cause of that is the cost of health care. People will not go to the doctor's office because of the cost. And they certainly don't want to go to the emergency of the cost. And this test can range from 1400 to 3500 depending if you have to get a CT scan. If you can even get tested in the first place. To, uh, to get qualified to even get tested is insane. And uh, uh, do you have that kind of money? Um, wow, I mean, it's it's a shocker. So how many people will not even go and get tested? They'll just suffer at home. And then maybe you have to run to the store and get some milk and come back. How many people did they expose? Because well, first of all, they just think it's the common, you know what, uh, FL stuff. And uh, um, yeah, I just, this concerns me. Our, we may have a great medical uh, platforms here. We may have uh, the best in the world, but can we afford to go and how many people won't go? That's what concerns me. And I got a feeling there's a lot of you out there. A lot of you, if you really, if you're a realist at all and think about it, how many times do you not go to the doctors because of the cost? How many people have crazy deductibles? Most of us do this new, uh, there's Obamacare and stuff. Yeah, insurance available to everybody, but it comes at a very big cost. Whether you can get your month, people go to get the monthly low, but because of that, they raise their deductibles to 10,000, 15,000. And uh, so what's the purpose of it? Um, yeah, so be aware. If you see folks that are sick, one of the first things you say is, have you gone and got it checked? If they're saying no, most likely it's the cost involved. And uh, a lot of people think when they get it, it's got the sniffles, the colds and stuff, and they still go to work. Um, instead of going to the, and I'm talking about people that actually have jobs that have health care at a whole work. They're still not using their health care. It's too expensive. It's reality. Face it, folks. So, be aware. Don't think that we're in a good situation over here because if it breaks loose, we seriously will really break loose because there's going to be a lot of people that won't go get it checked or get the test done because of the cost. There's a talk and I heard I read one article where the CDC would actually pay for it. But what about the other cost? So, uh, <sighs> What do you think, guys? In the comments below, by the way, please leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Please be professional. We appreciate that, too. And uh, whether you agree, disagree with us, that's okay, as long as you're professional. So, uh, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Let's move on. All right, guys, I'm on to my next subject here, and this one is kind of dark. And uh, I don't like it. You don't like it. None of us like it, but it could be a reality. Here's my question to you. If you go to the doctor and your doctor says, yeah, you might have that CV stuff, but we're not going to do a test on you because it costs too much and it's not good. But I want you to stay home and quarantine yourself. And here's a couple of things you should take to feel better and stuff and, 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 and relax. But uh, yeah, and uh, have a good day. And you go home. What happens what does that clinic do, and especially emergency, do if they suspect, do you have the CV stuff? Will you be reported on? Who's going to know? Are you going to be blacklisted? Are they going to snitch on you? Be little narcs? <laughs> neener, neener, neener. Are they going to snitch on you? Are they going to let the school districts know? What about your kid? Maybe your kid can't go to school because there's a possibility you have the CV stuff. Will your uh, work be told? 
will the community be told, the health departments be told, um, police departments be told? Will it be reported to uh, the news? Will they snitch on you? Could you get blacklisted? So now we've talked about the fact that people may not go to the doctor because of the cost, but now they might go, not go to the doctor because they'll get blacklisted. And Lord knows what could happen if you got blacklisted. That would be pretty ugly. I mean, for example, would you like to know? I mean, you say, well, okay, let's take the other side of the thing. Let's say you're an innocent family of four doing your life. Kids are going to school. You have jobs and your neighbor's sick. And they have the CV stuff. And you don't know about it. Do you want to know about it? Do you have the right to know about it? What if you're in places like we are, our houses are side by side with big brick walls between us. And my neighbor's sick and outside sneezing and coughing and it blows over the fence and gets my family sick. Because it, it sounds like this stuff is airborne. Would I be a little pissed? Uh, yeah, I would be. Do I think I should uh, know? If my neighbors got this unusual sickness, kind of like to know, is it right for me to know? Maybe not. Is it my right? Is it my right to know? I don't know. Do I want to know? Probably. <sighs> What's our government and organizations going to do? Are we going to get blacklisted if we go to the doctor? Are we going to get blacklisted if something happens at school and one of my kids gets sick and it's reported? Will my work be affected? Will uh, I get signed? Well, will my neighbors even turn on me? It could happen. Is this a fantasy? Absolutely not. Is it fear porn? I'm not trying to be, but it's also got me thinking. What do you think? First of all, there's the cost of the test. Now we're talking about maybe being blacklisted. How would that affect our lives? What if your insurance found out? Would your rates go up? Wouldn't that be terrible? Anyway, I just want to bring that up. I, th I think it's a serious thing to consider. And I think that's another reason why we could have a real problem in this nation with the CV stuff because of this kind of stuff and the cost of doing the test and going to the hospitals. Average middle class people and below are going to have real issues with this and would probably cause the effect of quarantining not to work and may hurt a lot of peop innocent people, either through rumors or through facts and through organizations that aren't responsible. I'd love to hear your opinions on this. I'd love to hear the facts. I'd love to hear if you think this is a reality or not. What do you think is going to happen? Once again, I ask for professional yays or nays, but let me hear your opinion. I'd appreciate it. Come on, everybody. Come on. Let's go try out those new poopy bags. Ranger Rob poopy bags. The ones at rangerrobpoopybags.com. Available at Amazon with free shipping. Well, let's change the subject to something happy. <laughs> and that is cooking. I love to cook. And I got to tell you, I just bought a brand new, what's called a Blackstone Grill. And I've always wanted one. And this is uh, the picture you see up here is a uh, uh, upper ver uh, image that you can look down on our Blackstone. This is only the 28 inch version. There's a bigger one, but 28 is actually more than sufficient for me and Sherry. This thing is a coolest thing that we have right outside our porch. So when we make breakfasts now uh, and uh, want to make French toast or uh, bacon and things like that, uh, man, what a great tool. It, it runs off of propane. Um, I have, this one has four burners underneath it. Doesn't burn up a lot of, uh, it heats up quick. So you don't go through a lot of propane. Um, anyway, it's so cool because I don't know if you guys ever made like French toast for the family and somebody sits at the grill 
and cooks four or five or four at a time on something that doesn't really work well on the top of the stove. Um, this way, I mean, wh whenever we have company, whatever, we can pump out all this at once and actually have dinner or breakfast ready or French toast for everybody at the same time, which is so nice. And so, so the cook doesn't get stuck at the grill while everybody else is eating like pancakes and things like that. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I I just love this thing. Here's another picture of the uh, Blackstone where I was just cooking up a few, you know, some bacon real quick. Um, man, it was just great because everything and the bacon seemed to cook or more concise, you might say, and uh, uh, and was pretty much done all at the same time. And having this much space and and having it devoted to making things like breakfasts. It's been great. So anyway, I just wanted to put in a good word about the Blackstone Grill. I will put a link down below in our description. Uh, I bought mine from Amazon. Uh, I paid $170 for it. And uh, it was really easy to put together. And the only thing else I had to go out and get was a propane tank for it. And by the way, lesson learned. I've been using these you know how you can go to the Ace Hardware or Home Depot and you can get propane in those cages and it costs like $28, $29 for it with fuel in it for the first time. Then when you go back um, and use it um, and uh, exchange it, it's still like $24, 22 to $24. And it's like, wow, because when you have a five gallon ga um, propane tank, uh, it shouldn't cost that much. It, let's say two dollars a gallon 240 a gallon in that area it should only be around 10 to 13 dollars to refill a tank not 22 or 24. so i finally at costco uh <laughs> not recently um costco bought a tank there and i uh, had them refilled that way and i actually filled two tanks for like 14 bucks uh so really if you're going to get propane tanks that exchange thing as convenient as they are, they are a ripoff. And by the way, the ones that you buy out of those exchange things, if you already have the tanks, you don't have, you can have those refilled at a regular gas station that has propane tanks that do refills. That tank is yours forever if you want it. So don't think you can't refill one of those yourself. And trust me, it's a much more affordable not to do the exchange thing that you see at Ace Hardware or, uh, Home Depot or Lowe's has probably got it too. So uh, yeah, get your propane tank, buy an empty one and have a manually filled, much more affordable. Really, I would. <laughs> anyway, if you're interested in a Blackstone grill, uh, they're wonderful. And uh, the other thing I really love is trigger grills. But this Blackstone, I gotta, I gotta tell you about it. And I'm, and like I said, easy street, we can talk about anything we want in this show. It doesn't have to be always gloom and doom. We like cooking too. So yeah, Blackstone, check it out in the description. Start every day right with Good Talk Radio. Great music, great talk shows, great DJs. Moving right along, folks, we're going to, uh, we're getting towards the end of the show, but let's take the time to talk about what this Good Talk Radio thing is I keep referring to. Good Talk Radio is a worldwide, international, national, our full-time radio station we own and what we do with that is we do we have music we have a music license with just like a regular ra uh, radio station the only thing is we don't have a lot of that jib jab stuff and uh not a whole lot of commercials and stuff we just have f factual shows fun shows and good music and uh and good talk <laughs> good that's why we're called good talk radio the cool thing is is we syndicate shows from all over and uh, it could be talk shows it could be a dj show it could be a religious show it could be uh um alternative news shows uh spiritual shows uh mixed in with news it could be all kinds of that stuff we even have stuff on relic or one called relics radio which are uh, people that do the um, metal detecting. We have things, uh, gambling with an edge. If you like to go to casinos, uh, a guy that is kind of an expert about uh, Vegas. We have shows of all sorts. And I highly recommend, please bookmark 
Good Talk Radio and go visit us. If you ever decide that, hey, I want to be part of this action. I want my voice to be heard. I want to do a podcast. A lot of people that um, that really start getting into the podcast and do reliable and long time shows start getting interested in being syndicated on uh, platforms like ours and they approach us. You may even notice in our channel that we uh, produce the show for Tom Goley. He's been on the radio for years and uh, uh, we've uh, worked out a, a share agreement to uh, 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 put his shows on our YouTube channel, which is a real hassle, but we don't mind doing it. Uh, so we syndicate them not only in our radio station, we syndicate them on our YouTube channel. And so you might want to be interested in doing in something like this in the future. You may have a podcast. You may have a show. Now, there's a few things you have to know about having a show syndicated on radio is you have to be a half hour show or an hour show or whatever, or an hour and a half or two hours. And you have to be consistent every single time. You can't run over later because you feel like it. Um, there's a thing, it's a radio station. We use programming. And uh, if you run late on one of your shows, you're hurting the show that's after you. And, and it messes up our schedules. Not a fair thing to do. So if you decide to make that step to be a syndicated show and like to have a podcast and get syndicated, keep in mind, if you're going to have a one hour show, it's got to be 57 minutes period. Give us our radio stations chance to do identifiers and jingles and also our commercials. Uh, that's just reality, but it's fun. And, and uh, I am one step closer to you having the opportunity to get your voice out by approaching us, having a good talk, um, know what our expectations are, uh, what can you do for us as much as what we can do for you. And so it's a win-win situation for everyone. But uh, you have to be professional, you have to be consistent, and you have to have a plan. Um, you have to have a niche, um, all these kinds of things. And that's what Good Talk Radio is all about. So uh, yeah, if you're ever interested in uh, one is go to Good Talk Radio and look and listen to the shows we currently have and, uh, and ask yourself, could I do that? Would I, I might like to do that. Well, you can approach us. Uh, are we a little bit stiff? Yeah, because we've had people let us down and we can't have that. Um, it's a lot of work on our side. You just think of, Oh, I just make a show and we just put it on there. It's a lot much more to it. We program your stuff. We load your files. We schedule you. We advertise you as much as we expect you to advertise us. It's a win-win for everyone. And sometimes there's money involved. Um, sometimes there's not. You never know. So uh, it all depends on the commercialism and, and things like that and how you intend. It's got to be helpful to both sides. Keep that in mind. So I hope that's some good information for you. I hope you go check Good Talk Radio. Go visit us. You can listen to Good Talk Radio on your uh, Alexa anytime you want. If you look in the description, we've given you the wording to say to your Alexa to get our radio station to play. We're also on all the other platforms. Uh, uh, iTunes, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spreaker, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and our side shows like this one is syndicated. And you'll notice we never go over 30, sec uh, 30 minutes on our show because it is a syndicated show. So there you go. Good Talk Radio. Check us out. Want to be on it? Contact us. You could get on there. You could be a syndicated show if you wanted to be. Um, take, you got to have a little gumption. You got to have a little faith in yourself. We have faith in you. So check us out. Good Talk Radio. And there you go, guys. We're all finished up. I want to thank you so much for listening to Easy Street. As we're just saying in the module before this, we got to stay under our 30-minute mark. So uh, thanks for listening. Please uh, share our videos, share our radio stations, share uh, and like, and all that good stuff really helps us out. 
And uh, uh, the biggest thing you could also do is go to Amazon, pick up some of our Ranger Rob poopy bags or donate to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. It all helps. So guys, thanks again for listening. Until next time, bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.